Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. And in this video, we're going to do a review about the concept of credit, right? So once upon a time, I used to be very afraid of credit. I had no understanding of it. I didn't even know what it was for. Like, what is credit even for, right? All I knew was there was some sort of this thing called a credit score. And people would always talk as if, like, if you don't achieve some sort of a credit score, then your life is over. So they'd always speak in a fear-based tone or language. And I was just too afraid to understand it, right? You know, but here's the thing. You'll find out that, that people do that with a lot of things. They'll act like, oh, if you don't get a certain SAT score, your life is over. You don't get a certain college, your life is over. If you don't get a certain job, your life is over. People love to do that. And they don't really tend to um, support each other. Um, it's just more about keeping you down with their fear-based language. They always do that all the time. I've learned to kind of tune out people just because it's almost like the boy who cried wolf. But when it comes to credit, my my point is that I used to be afraid of it just because I didn't I didn't know what it was about. And I certainly didn't want to find out that I didn't have like an 800 plus credit score because something was, and if I had like a 500, 600, something was wrong with me, right? And, you know, I think a good number of people are on that boat. So if I just kind of take a look, I did a Google search, too afraid to check credit. Um, there is a good number of people, I mean, not like in the 90%, like people who bought homes who regret it, who are afraid to check credit. Like it says one out of seven people are afraid to see their credit report right here, right? So it's 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 not too common, but it's not uncommon either. And so one of the things that, that you'll learn as you get to have a better understanding of credit, and I learned this from a credit instructor, is that um, you actually don't want an 800 plus credit score. Like I think 850 is like the highest based on, a, a, I think, FICO model, if I recall correctly. But you actually don't want a high credit score, right? Because what is the goal of credit? The goal of credit is to borrow money, right? Whether you get, get it in form of loans, credit cards, lines of credit, uh, HELOCs, mortgages, and so if you have a goal, uh, a credit score of 800 plus, and that is your goal, what happens is that you're treating the credit like a trophy instead of what it is, which is a tool, right? Because what happens with a lot of people is that um, they're afraid to borrow money. So they have this 800 plus credit score and they're afraid to borrow money because the way that credit scoring works is that um, if you do borrow money, that score goes down, right? And just kind of like my, my own personal situation, I actually had a, uh, you know, I have over $100,000 in credit lines. Once upon a time, I used 50% of it. My score went from 700 to 620 or 610 or something like that, you know? And so there are some people out there who see that and think that's like a bad thing, right? But the goal for me was to borrow money to achieve my, uh, you know, goals for let's say a fix and flip project, right? And and that's what I did, and then I paid most of it back. But most people would freak out because you know they think something is wrong with them because they borrowed the money, and then their score went down. But that's the point, right? That's how credit models work. And, and so it's kind of like, well, what is the goal? Like, what is the goal of that high credit score if you're never going to borrow money? Because that's the goal of credit, to borrow money, right? And at that point, they're treating credit as a, a, a trophy and not as a tool as it's supposed to be. So if you ever hear people talk about, oh, like, you know, or just ask them, like, well, is is your goal to – your ideal goal to get like 800 plus credit score? And they say yes – it's likely that they need more review and understanding of what credit is, what the purpose of it is. It's not for a certain score. Your credit can fluctuate up and down based on, you know, the things in your profile. And it's not fixed. And I think, you know, based on that fear-based language, it makes it seem like, oh, if you're at a certain score, then it determines, it's supposed to determine something. I don't know what, but they always make it seem like it's supposed to determine something for the rest of your life. So my message is don't be afraid of credit, right? It's relatively easy. It's just like, you know, based on, you know, how much money you borrow, how many lines you have. So there's like a certain criteria um, based on the cert model that will determine 
um, not only your score, but also if you're able to borrow money or not. And that's the real goal, right? Are you able to borrow money? Who cares about the score? If I have a 600 credit score, but I'm able to borrow $150,000, that's way better than having an 800 credit score and I have a $10,000 credit card only, right? Don't think about the score too much. Think about the character of the credit profile and if you're able to borrow money or not. Because the whole point of credit is to be able to borrow money or, or you know, pay for goods and services later, net 30, net 60, net whatever, net 90, that too. But if you're, if you're not interested in that, then the, the credit score has pretty much no purpose other than to be, especially if it's an 800 plus credit score. You know, you have to realize that borrowing money brings down that score. Okay. All right, so um, that's pretty much the reason why you don't want an 800 plus credit score. Um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. This is Korean Lanta Mentorship. If you're interested in joining our mentorship group, go ahead and click the Google form link down below. And uh, once you submit the form, we'll give you a contact or you can email us by clicking the about page of the YouTube channel. Have a great day, everybody, and we will speak soon.